Hi. I just thought I would do a swift um, video this morning and show you some things that I have been um, talking about, and that is the way that we should be sharing files and linking files into a master file so that we can use the information and then remove it and then send just the information that's been generated on that new file out to the new team. So let's just look at a scenario. Architects Practice has drawn um, some nice plans and the lift manufacturer says, can I have a copy of these because I need to position my lift. So the architect comes in and does um, open recent and there's one I'm looking at at the moment and it's um, a Masonic hall that I'm doing um, for um, the installation of a lift and you can see I've already done it there. They're putting a lift into this position here. But um, let's just say, for instance sake, that we're into the existing ground floor and none of that work has been done yet. And let's just bring up where it is. And you can see there, lovely big long building with um, the lift that should be going here somewhere. But I'm going to leave that up to the, um, up to the uh, lift manufacturer to sort out for me, which is in this case what they've actually done. So let's go up here and let's just remove this at the moment because I don't particularly want that one. I don't want to save it. Let's do a file. Let's, let's consider now I am the lift manufacturer and let's have a look and let's put a new file up for use and I'll use my default files and for, the reason for that is I'll show you later um, because my default files have usually got a whole load of other stuff in here in the resource palettes and you can see I've just got loads of stuff in there that I keep on and I generally use. So I'm the I'm the um, the lift manufacturer and the architect's practice has sent me um, the uh, Vectorworks files because we're all on the same um, issue of Vectorworks, which is highly important. And um, I'm now going to import that into it. Now, how do I do that without loading it in? I just want it there temporarily so I can see what I'm doing and then perhaps I can get rid of it before I send it out, which is what I should be doing. So. What I need to do is I need to go into here, into organization. And what I'm looking for is here is references. I want to reference a file into my new file. And as you can see at the moment, I've got nothing there at all. So I put new down and I go to my Dropbox where I've got all my projects. Here's my uh, projects live. And there's Commentary Masonic Hall. And that's the file that I want to import in to locate the new lift position and I put open like that and yes you agree um, and I want the absolute path and that's absolutely fine. Now I have a file that is now linked into my new file and if I go into um, if I go into uh, my resource browser into the navigation um, palette um, Let's just press OK on that one. If I go here, look, there's nothing in there. You can't see anything. And there should be a whole load of files. So what we'll do is we'll go into organization, go back into where we were before. Um, if it's not highlighted, highlighted. And let's go back to settings. And now you can see there's a click here that we need to do. And that is layer import. I want the layers to be imported into this folder, into this new file. And let's press OK. Now, if I highlight it again and press edit, I can see all the layers that are available to be downloaded. Well, downloaded into my as a, as a reference file into my into my new file. And the ones I want are the existing roof plan, the existing second, first, the existing ground, and most important, the existing basement and the elevations, which has also got the sections on. And I'm going to um, press OK to that. And I'm going to say uh, one or more viewports have been removed from the reference layers. Yes, we all know about that. I don't need them. And OK to everything. And I'm going to say OK to that now. And all of a sudden, as you can see in my um, layers, I have got a whole load of imported or referenced files in there. And the one that I'm interested in is a ground floor plan. So let's just click onto that. And yes, I do want to go into a reference file. And if I go up here and find out where it is, there's the imported ground floor plan as a reference file only. And you can see it's in italic, so I know it's, in, um, it's a reference file. Now notice what it's done. 
because in my in my default files I go nought nought as being the the um, the Eastings and Northings reference, but the import has now put my it references Eastings and Northings into the correct position. Now what I need to do is to start thinking about where I'm going to put my lift. And for the general purposes here, I'm going to use my nought general um, classification, and I'm going to put a lift. And I know, for instance, that I'm going to put my lift around here somewhere, and it's going to be quite a large, thin, long lift, and we're going to put it there somewhere. And if I just shift it across, because I know that's where I want to put it, and I've now got my um, lift position in the correct position. Now, what I want to do is I want to put that into the right layer that is not, and repeat, not on the architect's files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the layer here, I'm going to move that and I'm going to put it up to my default layer. Now if I go up to here and click onto the default layer it comes back and I don't see anything. If I do that and do show clip others and just click out the ones that I don't particularly want to see um, and, there, and that one there, then I am now looking at the lift position in the right position. Now what I could also do is I could go into tools here, into organization, and I can go on to my design layers, and I've, so I've got one, but for some reason I don't get them linked into this for some reason, I just don't understand this at all. But it doesn't affect the problem, that the, not the problem, but the actual overall drawing. So let's just click on that, and then rename that lift position. And I'll buy you know, two S's, oh, let's take that one because he's only going to melt. Okay, let's just go back up here, and I press the wrong key to do that, and let's just do that. And okay, and I've now got my my layer renamed as lift position, which I'm pretty sure that the architect's drawings won't have, so I won't cause a conflict. And let's do okay. Now, as I'm a good lift manufacturer, I'll go and save this as um, with all the links, and I'm just for just purposes of this, I'm going to lay it on here, and it's uh, Cov. Um, Cov Masonic Hall Lift. And I'm going to save that in my position because I may use this in the position when I start to do some detailing as the lift manufacturer, don't forget. Let's save that down here. Now, the architect has said, could I have a file back showing the lift position? Now, I'm not going to send that file because I've got all this stuff into it, all the lift, all the architect's details and all the other stuff that I, I referenced in. And I don't particularly want to send that back because it's going to cause confusion later on. So what I'll do is I will save as again now, but this time I'm going to call it uh, uh, no arch into it. And I'm going to save it now as no arch. And what I need to do now is to unclip or unreference the architect's drawings because I don't need to send them back to the architect. As I said before, it's going to cause confusion. So I just go into here, into the reference files, into there, and I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to delete everything because I don't want anything to do with that on here anymore. And I'm going to press OK, and you can see it's gone and all of a sudden it's all gone. All I'm left with is the one file that I've got, which is the position of the lift, and it's now also still geo-referenced into the correct position. And if I just move that over, you can see down the side there where it is. So what I'll do now is I will file and I'll save that because it is now, look, if you look at the top bar up here, no arch drawings. So let's just save that. And let me, for the instance on this particular one now, do Vectorworks, and let's hide Vectorworks for the time being. And there's my uh, two files. Now, one of the things about sending files around is that really, you know, you don't need huge amounts of information on this particular one. But there is, it's, it's only about 600 kilo, um, uh, K uh, difference between the two. What's going on? Well, in this one, it's still got all my symbols, my reference file, my other files that I use to draw with. So what I need to do is to go back into Vectorworks and I need to go to the palette for this and if I click on the first one where all my hatches and all my gradients are and I could go into the gradients but I'll leave those on. They're, they're fine. It's all these files down here, all my symbols. I've got absolutely loads of them as you can see. 
absolutely loads and spreadsheets within Vectorworks files. And if I click that with a shift, I reference them all. And if I go up to here, I can then um, delete all of them because the architect doesn't need them. All he wants is the ones that's absolutely linked into the lift there. Are you sure you want to do yes? And if I do file and I do save, don't forget it's still the arch, no arch file. And if I now do hide ref, um, vector works, hide vector works, look at the difference. 224 kilobytes is against 3.7 megabytes. So this is a massive difference that will make shunting files around so much easier and quicker. And the architect doesn't need anything. So let's swap hats and go back in. And I'm now the architect and let's just get rid of the, the file there. And let's just go into a new um, open recent and I want the original architect's drawings back up here. And I'm yeah, I've already done that one. So let's go down to the existing ground floor plan and let's go to it here. And I'm now going to do exactly the same as the, uh, the lift manufacturer did. And that is I'm going to go to tools, organization, and I've got no reference file in there. So I want a new one to come in and it's on my desktop. And the one that he sent me is this one, Kovma, no lift, no arch. No, I want this one. No, you're absolutely right. I want this one with no arch details on at all. So let's open that one up and again, agree to everything and again, agree to everything on that. Now let's do settings and layer import and I press OK. I press OK and it's done. Let's have to think about it. Now, if I do this one and do edit, I've got the lift position is waiting for me to add as a layer. It's the only one there. If I press OK and I press OK, I've now got, I should have on here, a lift position. And if I do active only and do show snap others, and the only one that I want to see is the existing ground floor plan. I don't want the position of the parking on there. All I want is the... Uh, that one which is the lift position and as you can see the lift position has suddenly been shown exactly where it should be at the correct eastings and northings and this is another reason why all drawings should be done within the UK at least on the correct eastings and northings for that particular site which you can get from the ordnance survey the moment you, you import an ordnance survey map then you automatically um, set the drawing up correctly for the UK, OS, Eastings and Northings. So that's how you should be sharing files out into the marketplace with your team. You don't need to send huge amounts. Once it's been done, then just send back what is required, not the drawings that you've been sent. You don't need to do that. So that's it. Hope that's of interest to you. And um, I'll put this up onto the site as, uh, as a blog with a little bit more explanation on following on from the uh, blog that I did yesterday. Okay, hope that's of interest and um, sorts out one or two little problems. I'll try and do this onto um, Revit and also onto the other uh, major CAD programs in the future. Cheers.